Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Our 2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid is in the garage today, and we're doing a complete overview of the underhood area, including all the major technical features, as well as the maintenance service points for your do-it-yourself maintenance. The Ford Maverick Hybrid features a powertrain well-proven, an evolution of hardware that's been in production for nearly a decade, powering Ford Fusion, C-Max, and Escape Hybrid models, just to name a few. In the Maverick Hybrid is a 2.5-liter Atkinson Cycle four-cylinder engine, named recently as one of Ward's 10 best engines. Originally developed with Mazda and now built by Ford in Chihuahua, Mexico, this variant of the engine features an Atkinson Cycle. It operates slightly different from an auto cycle, with intake valves staying open longer, improving efficiency up to 10%. With an aluminum block and head, it has a relatively high compression ratio of 12.3 to 1, yet due to its tuning, is rated to operate safely on 87 octane fuel. It's mated to a Ford-designed and built H45E hybrid transmission, which is the latest generation featuring a more powerful 126 horsepower electric motor. It's powered by a liquid-cooled 1.1 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion high-voltage battery mounted under the passenger compartment. Under the hood, you'll find a generous helping of bright orange high-voltage wiring, which should only be handled by trained technicians as it carries 450-plus volts, high enough to kill you instantly. The wiring travels to the transmission and to the hybrid control unit near the top of the transmission. It also travels to and powers the electric AC compressor mounted low on the front of the engine. Following the airflow, the intake charge begins at the top of the radiator, coming in through a snorkel and then down to a compact air filter box. From there, it travels immediately to a drive-by-wire throttle body and into a composite plastic intake manifold at the front of the engine. Looking at the top of the engine, you can spot the fuel rail and the injection system for its port injection, and atop of the head, four coil packs for its spark plugs. After combustion, spent exhaust air then exits the rear of the engine and directly into the catalyst system. DIY maintenance on the Maverick Hybrid is relatively straightforward in spite of the complexities. Windshield washer fluid is found at the passenger side near the fender, visible by its bright blue cap. Next to that are the two coolant reservoirs. The smaller one to the rear is for the low temperature coolant circuit that includes the hybrid battery, control units, and the motor drive unit. The larger one to the front is for the main engine coolant. They both use the same coolant type and can be checked and topped off in the same manner. Checking the oil is done at the top front of the engine at the bright yellow dipstick. The oil filler cap is nearby at the top of the valve cover. Accessing the oil filter is done from the bottom of the vehicle. The brake fluid reservoir is at the expected location at the driver's side firewall, sitting atop an electronic brake motor control unit in lieu of a conventional master cylinder and booster. To the right of it is the main hybrid system control unit, which is liquid cooled. There are two fuse boxes, one under the hood, which handles most of the engine and control system circuits, a bit of a chore to access, but as owners, we aren't likely to need to much. Most of the consumer grade fuses that owners may need to access are at the second fuse box located under the passenger side of the dash, below the glove box and behind an easily removable cover. Also in the passenger compartment is the 12 volt battery, as there's no room for it under the hood due to the hybrid control hardware taking up its normal spot. You'll find it under the passenger side of the rear seat. The 12 volt battery handles all of the lighting, interior accessories, and powering the computers. So yeah, missing under the hood is a 12 volt battery, but you also won't find a power steering pump as it is an electronically assisted system. There's also no dipstick for the transmission as it's not considered user serviceable. The LED headlamp assemblies are also not user serviceable as if they burn out, the entire unit needs to be replaced. The amber turn signal and marker bulbs, however, are halogen and replaceable. Between the headlamps is the main radiator cooled by a large electric fan. Watch your hands. Horns are located under the leading edge of the driver's side fender in plain sight. All right, my friends, there you go for what's under the hood of the 2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid. Now, aside of staying clear of all of that high voltage wiring so you don't die, it's pretty much like maintaining any other vehicle you might have owned. It really is that simple. So if you want to see more Maverick content, we have a lot of it. We've got test drives and technical right there on our playlist. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right there because either way, I want you to stay tuned.